y'all really don't want a real man like how y'all say y'all do. Y'all just be talking because it sound good. Y'all may want the image of it, but y'all don't really want what comes with being with a real man. Because here's the thing. A real man is going to be a leader. And that man is not going to want no loud, obnoxious woman that's always questioning him, constantly challenging him. He does not want to fight with you every day because you don't know how to shut up. If you want a real man that's going to provide and protect, you have to fall back and let him do what he was made to do. We hear all the time how black women are the least protected. But what we don't talk about is maybe the reason we're not getting the protection we want from our men is because don't nobody want to protect somebody that don't even like to listen. Some of y'all black women, y'all want to act like a man. Y'all want to do everything that the man do. Okay, then that means you got to protect your own self because that's what real men do. So y'all don't want a real man. Y'all want a weak man. Y'all want a man to let y'all do whatever y'all want to do, say whatever y'all want to say. Y'all want him to ask y'all for permission. But baby, that's not a real man. That's a simp. And what makes it even crazier is that most of the women that she's referring to literally tell men that they are not man enough because they cannot handle their aggression. You're not a real man because you won't step up to the responsibility and be responsible and be a stepfather. You're not a real man because if you were a real man, that I wouldn't even have to be as bold as I am and as aggressive as, as I am and as masculine as I am. The only reason I'm masculine is masculine because you're not masculine enough. Like, that's the type of stuff they say. And that's why they be lonely as a single mother.